Welcome to today's mini lesson. Today we will learn how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Let's go ahead and look at an example. In this example, the two denominators are not the same. This means they are unlike. So I'm going to go ahead and underline this. Unlike means that they are not the same. There is no way to add these two fractions unless the denominators happen to be the same. In order to do that, we need to either change the 3 or the 4 or both. Now, there are several ways to do this. When you have small numbers as denominators, the easiest way is to go ahead and to multiply these two numbers and come up with a common denominator. Later on, I'll show you um, what you can do when your two denominators are not so small and you're going to have to find another strategy. But this way, we can go ahead and multiply. We know that 3 times 4 equals 12. So now we're going to change both of these fractions to um, fractions with a denominator of 12. So 2 thirds is going to be changed to a denominator with 12. And 3 fourths will also be changed to a denominator with 12. Let me go ahead and set this up a little differently. 2 thirds is going to equal something with 12. And then 3 fourths will also equal a fraction with a denominator of 12. 3 times what number gives you 12? That's something, something to think about. Well, we know that we went ahead and multiplied 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 equals 12. The rule with fractions is whatever you do to the bottom number, which is the denominator, you also must do the same thing to the top, which is the numerator. So now we're going to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. 2 times 4 equals 8. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom fraction. 4 times 3 gives us 12. Well, we're now going to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. 3 times 3 equals 9. So now we have two new fractions. They're actually equivalent. Two-thirds is equivalent to eight-twelfths, and three-fourths is equivalent to nine-twelfths. But the key here is now that they both have the same denominator, we can go ahead and add or subtract. The original problem was an addition problem, so let's go ahead and add. Eight-twelfths plus nine-twelfths is going to give us an answer with 12 remaining to be the denominator. So we don't add the denominator, we only add the numerator. 8 plus 9 is 17. So you only add the top numbers, once again, which is the numerator, and the denominator stays the same. This happens to be an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when the number on top, which is the numerator, is larger than the denominator. So it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes your teacher or your test or whatever you're doing will ask you to keep the, the answer as is. So if your answer is supposed to be an improper fraction, you would leave it as 17 twelfths. If not, you can quickly change it into a mixed number. 12 goes into 17 one whole time, and 5 is left over. And then 12 is the denominator, which stays the same. So this, these are two different options as your answer. Let me rewrite that so you can see. These are two options for your answer, 17 twelfths or 1 and 5 twelfths. The second thing we're going to look at today is subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Okay, so let's look here at this example. These two denominators are different. One is a 16 and one is 64. Now these are definitely larger than three and four, so we're not going to multiply them. We can do something called finding the least common multiple, or the LCM. And this is something that you probably have learned in class. What you want to do is take the smaller denominator and try to find a common multiple up to 64, up to the larger one, in this case is 64. So you know that 16 times 1 is 16, then you would do 16 times 3, 16 times 4, until you get to 64. Well, we happen to know that 16 times 1 is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32, and guess what? 16 times 4 will give us 64. So since we know that, we're going to go ahead and change the 7 16 into a fraction with a denominator of 64. So I'm going to go ahead and do that down here. And let's just check over here on the side to make sure. 6 times 4 is 24, and we carry the 2. 
4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 more is 6. So this is where I'm getting the 64 from. Okay, so we know that we multiplied 16 times 4 to give us 64. We must also now multiply the numerator by the same number. 7 times 4 is 28. So the original problem is 7 sixteenths minus 5 sixty-fourths. We can now go ahead and subtract. Okay, so I'm going to replace my um, equivalent fraction now, 28 sixty-fourths is the same as 7 sixteenths, and I'm going to go ahead and do the subtraction problem, and let's see how that works out. All right, so 28 sixty-fourths is the new problem. So now we can subtract 28 minus 5. Guess what? 64 stays the same. The denominator always stays the same, and the only thing that you're going to work with is the numerator. So 28 minus 5 gives you 23. You want to check to see if your fraction is in simplest form. A lot of times the directions will ask for simplest form. In this case it is. We know that because there is no other number that fits inside of 23 besides 1 and 23. 23 is a prime number. Um, so your answer happens to be 23 over 64. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.